Did you ever think a fear of going to showbiz? Um, I, I wouldn't say yes and no, because she started showing signs of this amazing gift when she was a baby girl. I mean, at two years, she was singing Happy Birthday to us and, and all that. And so uh, with the karaoke microphone and the, and the box, you know, so it's, it's not, uh, I'm not surprised. I sing, the father sings, everybody in right. the family, my father sings, <laughs> and my sisters are, wearing choir, are in choirs. And so it's, it's a family thing. Okay. And when we were at Ashoma Estate as Assemblies of God, Reverend Asunda, hi, God bless you. You know, when we were at Assemblies of God at Ashoma, I was in the choir, praise and worship and full choir. And she was in Missionette. Okay. And she was singing. And sometimes she would come and sing with the, with the grown-ups. So we started, you know, uh, putting her out there so she can grow her talent. And I remember we had Ifya and Na. There was a young, be beautiful girl called Na at Asem Assemblies. And she was very good as well. So we put them together. And we were showing them off. I mean, and they, and they were sing. doing gospel they were, at that time. Yes, they were doing gospel. And I remember one time, one of the graduation of our, our pastors in the north, we sent them when they went to perform. Everybody was excited, you know. So it actually showed. The signs were all there, but the stars of the future that brought it out. Mm. Yes, because it was that time that she, she had opportunity to perform publicly and also to grow the talent because they just don't go performing. They also groom them. And so you are able to find your niche wherever it is during that period. And I think God blessed us. And, and, and she got out there. Were you the one who pushed her into Stars of the Future? No. She decided. She decided. Her. I was, interestingly, uh, it was, they did the, the auditioning, first auditioning at Erata Hotel. And that time, we had a shop there. And I was there, and she appeared. And I said, what are you here? Said, so they're doing, um, you know, auditioning for Stars of the Future, and she was going to be part of it. I said, no, no, go, 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 you know. I was excited about it. So I wasn't surprised when she was selected. So I was there every day at her auditions. Every, oh. every day at her auditions. So could it be that you influenced it as well? Uh, influence her. Her selection? No, no. If, if, I, if I were to influence her selection, yeah. she would have been the first because she was <laughs> the best. Right. I mean, everybody knows. Everybody at that time knew that Evia was the best. But, of course, they were voting. There mm -hmm. were, you know, other things influencing the positioning. And, and that is the reason why they put her and um, uh, uh, Irene together. Irene. Because they were a very good combination. Mm -hmm. And so they start off as Irene and Jane, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I didn't influence it. But were you hoping she'd be a gospel musician? Um, I, yes, of course, because that's where we came from. That's our background. And she still does gospel. Okay. That's what you, anytime Effia starts the show, you haven't noticed. She does gospel before she continues with whatever she wants to sing. And I know that God has a special place for her. And she'll get there. She will definitely get there. She will get there. The stories about her, they do break you, don't you? Which was the most that has broken you? Well, all the things about... I mean, no, it's a lot. So, I mean, we, we get broken and we get, we get back on our So feet. many stories. I mean, as a mother, um, if I should hear some stories about my child, especially it in the public domain, mm. I don't know how I react. And so I just want to know how you have reacted, how you have taken stories. You know, recently she had an issue with Black Rasta. Black Rasta mm. called her names, <laughs> said she was on drugs. Some story portals have reported that she's on drugs. How do you take it all in? Well, Mommy? I know my daughter. And so I just tell her not to follow it. Just take it in. Let's pray about it. It will die off. Does it break her? Oh, well, it would. Because these are instances where you are working on something. Because some of the times we're working on something that should push her somewhere. And then these things come up. That's why I was saying earlier on that we have to be careful the way we do things and say things. Because you never know the effect. Because one of the instances, we were working on a project, a huge project, and this broke it. You know, so as a mother, of course, I'll feel bad about it. But I think that God has a better place for her. So what? 
maybe these are all propellers. So why not? So the project didn't come on because of these fake stories? Yes, of course. I mean, if you are an investor and you want to put in into somebody and you hear things about the person, whether it's true or not, before you say Jack, you may have, you know, taken a step back to check it. Yes, of course, it would affect us. And it does affect us. But like I said, you're a true Christian. The better part of us is yet to come. Not what is gone. No, I don't believe in that. I believe in what is ahead and it's bigger and better. So we are praying for it mm. and it will come. It will definitely come. You have a beautiful bond with her, though. We do. You do. Mm -hmm. Is she your best friend? Yes. Does she tell you everything? She does. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of Konkonsa. Right. Hey. <laughs> we do a lot of Konkonsa. Yes. It's like, yeah, mommy, come, come. But do you have any regrets of her going into the music industry? No. No. I think it's a gift. And when you have a gift, you, you, you just make good use of it. So she's just doing what God wants us to do, her to do. And we have to give her all the support. Whenever she says she's okay and wants to do something else, we will be there. Mm. I pray that I'll be there to give her a hand to move on to the next step. Mm. But she loves singing. She sings in her sleep. She writes. She gets up midnight and starts writing. I mean, so it's become part of her. So the best part is to, to see to it that she gets the best of it. Mm. We love that. Amen. So do you live with them? Do you, do you, does she feel it with you? Well, we are just a few meters away oh, from okay. each other, so I can walk there. I was there with her yesterday in the evening. Oh, um, wow. I, I, have, I have a conference. I, I closed in the evening. I went to see her and, and came back to the conference and stuff like that. So going back from here to the conference. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. 